that comedian Phil Hartman and his wife are killed during what appears to be a murder-suicide, and that is tonight's top story. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Hartman's wife is from Thief River Falls in northwestern Minnesota. Police say Bryn Hartman apparently killed her husband and then herself. So far, investigators haven't given a motive for the shooting of a man who made so many people laugh. Bryn Hartman was born Vicki Jo Amdahl on April 11, 1958, in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Her father was an engineer, and her mother owned a retail shop. In the 11th grade, Bryn dropped out of high school and married Douglas Turfin, a successful telephone operator. But, according to friends, Bryn felt that her life was average and needed something more. She divorced Douglas within a year and began taking modeling jobs locally. She saw moderate success but felt that to get her big break she had to get out of her little town. So, she packed up and moved to Hollywood. Bryn was said to have suffered from deep insecurities, and according to friends, she was always trying to find herself. They said they would constantly ask her, quote, who are you this week? She changed her name from Vicky to Brendan, and then finally to Bryn. In 1986, while working as a swimsuit model, a friend set her up on a blind date with another aspiring star, Philip Hartman. Phil was a comedian, actor, and writer born on September 24, 1948, in Brantford, Canada. He began his career in 1975 doing sketch comedy in Los Angeles. During the 80s Phil and his close friend Paul Rubens created and acted in the hugely successful Pee Wee Herman show, and eventually Pee Wee's Playhouse. Phil played the character, Captain Carl. In 1986 Phil successfully auditioned for his breakout role on Saturday Night Live for its 12th season. He starred alongside fellow comedic legends such as Chris Rock, Dennis Miller, Chris Farley, Mike Myers, and Adam Sandler. He appeared in 155 episodes between 1986 and 1994, which was a record at the time. Phil was an important piece of the SNL cast. Adam Sandler nicknamed him, Blue because he was the one who kept the show together. In 1987, Bryn and Phil Hartman got married and moved together to Brooklyn, New York. Bryn gave birth to two children, Sean Edward Hartman, born in 1989, and Birgen Annika Hartman, born in 1992. While Bryn put her career on hold to stay home to raise the children, Phil continued to work. In 1991 Phil began voicing one of his most memorable characters, Troy McClure on The Simpsons. He also lent his voice to four other characters in the series and appeared in 52 episodes. He went on to voice characters for Captain Planet, Tiny Toons, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, and Ren and Stimpy. Around this time, Bryn mentioned to her friends that she felt trapped at home with the kids and was beginning to resent not pursuing her own career. She turned to alcohol, after 10 years of sobriety, and started using cocaine. She was also prescribed antidepressants. To get Bryn out of her slump, Phil encouraged her to take acting classes, and even to get cosmetic surgery to help get her foot in the door. He worked with his producers to get her on Saturday Night Live, but he was only able to get her a non-speaking role with him during the opening credits, and her face was never shown. In 1994, Phil reached out to his contacts and got Bryn a role in the movie North as a waitress. But, after just one taping, the show's producers decided not to bring her back. Bryn complained to her friends, quote, I kept trying to get my face on camera, but the damn director kept telling me to turn away, I was so frustrated. Phil left Saturday Night Live in 1994 and took a starring role on the TV sitcom News Radio. The couple bought a $1.4 million home in Encino, California to be closer to filming. In 95, he starred in the successful movie House Guest, and followed that with a bigger box office success, Jingle All the Way. While Phil's career kept growing, people close to the Hartman said it seemed as if Bryn began to become jealous of her husband. She was said to be very verbally and physically abusive to him and would make big scenes in public to embarrass him. On top of that, Bryn's drug and alcohol abuse was getting out of hand. Phil reportedly hated how she interacted with the kids while she was intoxicated. On multiple occasions, Phil would threaten divorce, but Bryn would then agree to go to rehab. But, she would always come back to the drugs. She also developed a paranoid fear that she was being stalked by crazy fans, so she bought several guns she hid around the house. Around 10 p.m. on May 27, 1998, Bryn had come back home from dinner with a friend. Phil saw that she was intoxicated and threatened to divorce her if she ever did drugs again. The pair got into a heated argument until Phil stopped engaging and went to bed. 
For the next few hours, Bryn drank and used cocaine and the antidepressant Zoloft as Phil, and her two children slept. At around 3 a.m., Bryn grabbed a 38 caliber revolver and walked into the master bedroom she shared with Phil. As he lay in the bed, sleeping on his back, Bryn shot him three times. Once in the face, throat, and chest. He was 49 years old. Bryn then drove drunk to her close friend, Ronald Douglas's, home and confessed that she had murdered her husband. Ronald thought it was a joke at first, but when Bryn handed him a warm gun, he demanded that she take him back to her home. He walked into the Hartman bedroom to find Phil's lifeless body still lying in his blood-soaked bed. At 6.20 a.m., he called 911 to report the shooting. Okay, do you, do you see the victim? Yeah. Wife shot him and you're both there. Was this on purpose or is this an accident or what? Do you know what happened? I, I have no idea if she was in that house and she was strong. She said she had killed her husband and I didn't believe her. Where's the weapon now? It's uh, in my hand. Okay. Because um, she brought it to my house. What is your name, sir? My name is Ron. Ron Douglas. Bryn then locked herself in the bedroom with Phil's body. Police arrived shortly afterward and quickly began escorting the kids out to safety. They grabbed Sean first and put him in a police car. Then, while officers were taking Birgen out, they heard a single gunshot come from the bedroom. They stormed in to find Phil and Bryn lying in the bed, deceased. Bryn had lain next to her husband and taken her own life with a bullet through her right eye. She was 40 years old. At 6.20 this morning, residents of this upscale Encino neighborhood called police to report gunshots coming from the Hartman's gated estate. Officers arrived to find a nine-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl by the front door, both obviously upset. As they were taking the children out of the house, officers heard a gunshot in the master bedroom. There they discovered comedian Phil Hartman dead. Authorities say it appears his wife Bryn shot him, then turned the gun on herself. Mr. Hartman had been dead for a while. He did not die uh, at the same time that uh, Mrs. Hartman apparently killed herself. Distraught neighbors and friends of the couple say they had marital problems. One woman said she had feared that this would happen. We don't have any information concerning that topic at this time. We're continuing. Robbie Homicide will conduct a very thorough investigation. They will talk to the neighbors. They will talk to all witnesses and try and, and find that out. Hartman made his living making people laugh. He got his first big break on Saturday Night Live. For eight years, he took on characters like President Clinton. And the fact is that one person and one person only bears the full responsibility for this affair. My wife, Hillary Rodham. Hartman was currently starring on the NBC sitcom News Radio. He played a Ted Baxter-ish anchorman. Police are not confirming it, but friends say it was the Hartman's children taken from the house. They are now in protective custody and are being questioned by police. Carla Wohl, ABC News, Encino. The Hartman's two kids were given to Bryn's sister Catherine Ongal by order of their will. Their ashes were scattered along the coast of Catalina Island in California. Rest in peace to all involved. Whether I gave uh, Phil Hartman's wife cocaine, which I don't know if I did or not, it's, you know, it would be like if I died tonight because I asked you for coke and you said, yeah, I happen to have some that my friend gave me. Yeah, here, go, do it. And you didn't know I had a problem. Or you, you're, you're like, oh, he, he must always do it. He's fine. It's like his vitamin C. Right. It's, 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 it's vitamin to him. He needs it. And then you give it to him, but I died. Would you think you killed me? Uh, can I say no comment? I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I guess not. No. Yeah, my point is, is that, look, if you're looking to, if, if you're looking to get drunk, you're going to go to a bar. If you're looking for drugs, you're going to go to somebody who you think has blow. So you know, she is somebody that that night wanted to get high, and she, oh, he must have it. Do you have any? Yeah, maybe I do. And then that happened, and I'm like, I didn't know anything about her past. 